Welcome to Made in Alberta. June is bike month, but here's some advice if you want to get an early start. The real secret I'll have to show you is woolen underwear. I always wear woolen underwear, and uh, even when it's a little bit above freezing, but none of this high-tech stuff for me. Mr. Natural, 100% cotton pants, woolen sweater, and the important thing, always woolen underwear, wool next to the skin, because you can sweat and you don't get cold. I'm not really into anything very high tech in the way of clothing. Basically, it's layers, layers of um, like work shirts and sweaters and maybe a down vest. My whole garb here is shed when I go indoors. These pants are, are not particularly thick, but they're uh, two layers of nylon over top of a regular pair of pants and then under that I've got uh, long underwear. So there's four layers, none of which are very thick, but collectively they have the ability to trap air and uh, boost the insulation without adding weight. Last year I slipped a, a, what's called a clipless pedal in. It works like a downhill ski bike. And this has kept my feet uh, fairly warm this year, even though I've got a fairly, just a lightweight cycling shoe. I'll pull a sock over this shoe, cut the hole out for the cleat on the bottom, and uh, I've got a neoprene cover, and I'll even put a cross-country ski gaiter over all of that. That's pretty warm. Uh, the socks, I go to the I go to the army surplus and they get washed wool socks. They're about two bucks a pair. They're just like felt. You can't go wrong. I wear two or three pairs, whatever I can fit, and they're cheap, eh? People call these lobster claw gloves, and they're actually a great invention. They're halfway between a mitt and a glove. Um, they they keep a couple of your fingers to, together uh, to keep your hands warm, but they still allow you to to be able to reach your brake levers and, and your shifters easily. My favorite accessory, the handlebar gloves. They're like a tube that you fit over the handlebar end and you can strap it down with this Velcro strapping and little snaps, hold it in place. It's windbreaker stuff on the outside, nice woolly stuff on the inside. You can wear it with just light gloves. You just put your hands in or even no gloves at all. You reach inside there and you can work the brakes. And you can work the gear shift. Your hands stay warm as toast when it's 40 below, you're still comfy in there. When you're cycling, uh, in the winter particularly, you're traveling at maybe 10, 20 miles an hour at times. So you're constantly being exposed to uh, cold air rushing by. And that has a wind chill effect. So the covering in your head is extremely important because your head is always maintained at, at your core body temperature. See you next week for the launch of Local Motion 2009.